How's it going, everybody? My name is HBCW, and welcome back to more Crash Mind Over Mutants. Need to do something really quick. Okay. In the last episode, we actually fought a lot of Radnitions, and my camera is at, is at a weird angle. I don't know if it's good or not. You could probably see, like, there. That might be a little bit better. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, in the last episode, we made it through half of the starting area. In this episode, we are going to go through the other half. Now, this episode actually took a long time to upload because I had my other camera open. I mean, like, my camera that goes to my actual iPod, not YouTube Capture. So, I ended up having to sit here for, like, three hours for it to upload. So... Pretty much what you want to do is just hold Z and... I think it's Z. Yeah, it's Z. You press Z and it does a... A very heavy attack. So... Also, there is something that they changed in this game to... From Titans. If you try to do the... If you try to do the sort of hover, you do this, and then you, like, pounce down, pretty much. They did change it a lot, so. So, I recorded, like, 15 minutes last episode, which was a good, a good idea for a first episode, to, just to see if people like it. I'm planning on recording for just about 20, 20 to, to 22 minutes, just because, just 20 minutes... Well, 15 minutes or 10 minutes just isn't enough for some people. And plus, the rate these episodes are going to come out, which I don't even know yet, may piss some people off, and I can completely understand that. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I really hate this tutorial part. In which case, the second part. So, this is counter. So I, okay, press the Z button at the right time. So it'll pop up at the bottom of your screen. I think. Don't sneeze, Crash. It's such a long time. There. Okay, that was the counter. Now we have the counter attack. No! You jerk. You got rid of my multiplier. So I think it's like Z, Z. There. Okay. Oh my god. Usually I press it too fast and it ends up like like ki pretty much killing me if it wasn't if it was if it was a real enemy then it probably would kill me. Anyways, that is actually a ratsicle. Well, a, a hollow of it, pretty much. Hologram of it. Um, I don't think I have to save, because if I end up dying, I'm just going to cut it out anyways. And it looks like we got a real rat sequel. And as its name entails, it is a rat and an icicle. He sneezes and makes ice. This is pretty much your first mutant. Although, I think they call it a Titan in this game, which is kind of weird. And he just got really weird particle effects. That's weird. Yeah, they call it... They call them mutants in, in Crash of the Titans. And then, in this game, they call them Titans. In so, pretty much, they're getting their names wrong. <laughs> so, the best way to kill this guy is... Oh, watch out. Um... Oh, we have the... forgot what, what it was called. I haven't played Titans in a long time. I have it on my PSP, and I'm not going to record that with my iPod. Screw that. Anyways, these guys do a lot of damage. 
you can see that we could probably just destroy everything in our path. At least that's what it feels like. So you flick the nunchuck and it lets you go through here. This game also came out for PS2 along with um, Titans did too. Yep, so we get a four times multiplier for uh, for this. Pretty much, we don't have any en any enemies to attack right here, so there's no real point. Also, if you want a quick achievement, I will show you. I believe. Okay, ready? Achievement in three, two, one. Yeah, it's amazing. All you have to do is press up and you can switch from Crash to your Mutant. It's very, very useful. And sometimes it works out because your Mutant moves faster. Normally your Mutant will move faster than Crash actually does. Also, um, if you flick the, uh, the um, rear remote, it will do a special attack. Also, the Z attack is this, which is kind of weird, because you can actually end up doing that by just pressing the B button a couple times. Also, I didn't really show this perfectly. If you press Z, not Z, not Z, C as in cat, you actually block. You can do this with Crash and you put out Aku Aku and show it, really. And it just makes a bubble around you. It's a 2D bubble, which is kind of weird. Also, uh, you can, um, I think, yeah, you can, like, you can, like, like, Crash will, like, move over and stuff. You mess with the wrong person! Ten times multiplier scored. Oh, we actually scored it this time. Don't know. Also, you can do a minion jump if you. I believe if you. If you do your jump correctly, you can actually get a lot of height off of jumping off a minion. Which can actually lead you to getting a lot of good items that you would normally need, like, tall minions for. Which you cannot store tall minions, which is kind of weird. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Aku Aku only has so much power. So, we are going to jump off of him and do like a yo-yo thing. Anyways, if we go over here, we need to kill this red mission. No, really. I didn't just do that like 13 times. Anyways. You get a health upgrade. And we get a little bit more health. It's not it's not much until you actually see how much you get. By the way, it does end your multiplier if you get hurt in any way. Even if it is your minion. Or mutant, sorry. Oh my god! I thought it already exploded because of the guy. Ah, uh, it's too bad for excuses. Beep. Boom, now it's gone. Too. It's over here. I don't think I've ever been over here. Oh, gold mojo. I guess I could go over um how how much the mojo actually is. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So the mojo actually has different like I don't know how to explain it, but like different values. It can be multiplied by multipliers such as this. That is a multiplier mojo, pretty much. You you get double the mojo depending on your multiplier at the time. 
So if it's like three times, I don't know if you can actually get three times. Um, but pretty much, um, blue mojo is worth one, pink mojo is worth five, and gold is worth a hundred. I think there's somebody inside. Well, we have to skip the cutscene, I'm sorry. We get a ton of these guys. Now, they actually get scared if you use this. You can see the guys with the skulls on their head. Oh, there it is. You can get three times. And tech upgrade. Also, you can now jump in this game and... and in Titans, you could not, actually. Alright. I'm gonna sort of lead them over. I'm gonna try to get as much of a multiplier as I can. Is it gonna put me back inside? Yep. Alright, just cut that out. Um, I didn't cut it out, but you can... See, I called him a titan! That's stupid. Anyways, we can get on this guy. I don't think the wind will ever blow again here. Anyways, oh my god, times 26. I'm pretty sure you can get up to like 50 if you're good enough. I never really get to it because I don't go that far. No, 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 no. Ah, back to it. Alright, I'm gonna try to upgrade the rat's coal a couple more times because it is, it is one of the, one of them that you're gonna be using a lot in this game. Because the opening of this game is very long. Not that it's bad, I mean, it's better to get used to the game quicker. Ah, uh, we're going back down to, uh, what, 14? <laughs> I math. Okay. Math, bro. Um, I think we're at 12 minutes. Uh, I think we can do a quick boss fight. I'm not just citing that. I have to. <laughs> because, for one, I'm dedicated to YouTube. Um. Um. Troller. I mean, don't chuck. No, I'm chow. Okay. <laughs> it just stopped because I was fiddling with the cord. Because I'm weird. Um. By the way, the multipliers that you get from killing monsters is a is actually p permanent, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Yay! Another upgrade. Alright, let's keep going over here. So we can now go over here. This part is now down. And we actually have a boss fight. I'm gonna skip this in case of copyright. So pretty much Coco is actually... It's actually... Weird. Um... You can do this. Now, I'm gonna use this on her because I think it does more damage. Nope, she just teleported. You have to freeze her first, then. Yep. Oh, she's a girl. I can't hit her. Oh no. Oh no, because that's not sexist. And she's dead. Totally unfair. Totally unfair. Yeah. Alright. We are speeding through this game. No, I don't care. <laughs> oh. I don't care. Is that a good time to end it off? Neither are we sure.
Anyways. We unlocked Coco if we have a second player, which there is two. This is two players. This is a two player game. It's not. You're not forced to have it be two players, but it is two players. I might have, like, Zombie Gamer or, um, Bajan Tybrine join me. Anyways, I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Let's see how many percent we're at. I have no clue. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.